Hello everyone. Did you know that irregular menstrual periods is the cause of infertility in a lot of women? Are you aware that abnormal periods may sometimes be due to serious conditions such as infections or a cancer? In this video, we will discuss what irregular periods and abnormal periods are, what causes them, symptoms, their effect on fertility and natural remedies to help regulate your periods. We would also outline some underlying causes that you most probably haven't heard of. Please endeavor to watch this video to the very end. If you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on your post notification and bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a new video. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Let's get started. Irregular periods can be defined in three ways. Amenorrhea. This term describes a situation where you do not have any periods for at least three menstrual cycles. Oligomenorrhea. This term describes having periods more than 35 days. Menorrhagia. This refers to heavy bleeding that lasts more than a week. Normal periods occur after 21 to 35 days. This cycle is fairly consistent and bleeding lasts for 5 to 7 days. The volume of blood loss is about 5 to 18 milliliters. However, you can tell that a period is abnormal when the cycle occurs less than 21 days or more than 35 days apart and the variation is by more than 20 days. Also, if the period lasts more than 5 to 7 days and you lose more than 80 milliliters of blood in a cycle, that is a sign of an abnormal period. What are the causes of irregular periods? Irregular periods can be caused by hormonal imbalance. Consuming excess caffeine, sugar and saturated fats can disrupt your body's hormonal balance. That is why it's important to consume diet consisting whole grains, vegetables and lean meats. Get rid of any habit of smoking and drinking as well. Stress is also one of the primary reasons for the hormonal imbalance in your body that triggers irregular periods. If your body is highly stressed, then you need to cut down on your activities, meditate often, sleep well and exercise regularly. Poor sleep also causes a change in your hormones and affects your menstrual cycle. Weight gain as well causes the same effect. This is because the excess fat cells will cause the estrogen level to rise and this will stop your ovaries from releasing an egg. However, losing too much weight would also tell your body that you are not getting proper nutrition and you wouldn't be ready for a pregnancy. Any drastic physiological change would affect your menstrual cycle. Your cycle needs to be predictable and consistent. You need to know when you are ovulating. Let's talk about abnormal periods now. Abnormal periods can affect the quality of your life as well as your peace of mind. Therefore, it's very important that you talk to your doctor if you are experiencing it. Even though it may be due to problems with your hormones, it may also be due to other serious conditions which you would need to identify or rule out. An example is bleeding between periods. It may be a sign of ovulation or the side effect of a birth control. That is if you are using a hormonal form of birth control. It can also be as a result of an infection or a cancer or even a type of polyp. Missed periods, medically known as amenorrhea, is also another example of an abnormal period. This is when you miss three or more periods in the usual cycle length. This can be due to the fact that you are pregnant or breastfeeding. It can also be a result of changes in your hormones. However, it can also be a sign of organ abnormalities. It can be a signal that either your uterus, cervix or ovaries is not functioning properly. An example is the Asherman syndrome, which is the formation of a scar tissue in the uterine cavity. This problem most often develops after a uterine surgery. Having shorter or lighter periods is also another form of an abnormal period. It is normal when young girls are having their periods for the first time or older women are approaching menopause. It can also be the result of hormonal problems. However, it can be a sign of an eating disorder. This means you are not eating right or healthy. It can also be as a result of excessive exercise. Do not eat less and exercise more. It causes your body to feel starved. Shorter or lighter periods can be the result of thyroid conditions or a sign that your cervix is unusually narrow. 
about 10 to 35 percent of females are affected by heavy periods and it's also an example of an abnormal period heavy periods can lead to low blood counts or anemia if it's not treated if you bleed for more than a week you wake up to change sanitary protection during the night or you soak one or more sanitary pads every hour for more than two hours then you should know that you're having a heavy period when your skin starts becoming pale and you experience heart palpitations fatigue and lightheadedness then you know that you may be anemic Heavy periods may be a sign of conditions such as uterine fibroids, which are most often known cancer cells in the uterus, or a sign of endometrial polyps, which may be cancerous or benign. It may be a side effect of a copper-containing IUD. An IUD is a device that is inserted in the uterus for a long-term reversible birth control. Heavy periods may also be caused by an ovulation, which is periods in which the egg is not released. This is seen mostly in the early years of menstrual periods or nearing menopause. Adenomyosis can as well cause heavy periods. It is a condition in which the endometrial tissue goes into the muscle wall of the uterus. You need to talk to your doctor if you have abnormal periods because many of these conditions can be treated with medications or by minimal invasive surgical procedures. Are you trying to get pregnant with irregular periods? If you are having irregular periods and you are trying to get pregnant, you need to talk to your doctor about why your periods are irregular and try to regulate them. Your periods being irregular doesn't mean you can never get pregnant. You can take an ovulation test with an ovulating kit to test and see when you are ovulating. You would also need to keep your weight under control. If you are underweight, you need to gain a few kilos as extreme loss of body fat is related with low estrogen levels that adversely affect the menstrual cycle. If you are overweight, you need to cut down on your calorie intake. Take a well-balanced and healthy diet. Include a lot of fresh green vegetables and fruits in your diet to get the required minerals and vitamins. Eat whole grains and avoid spicy fatty foods. Regular exercises are also helpful in boosting your chances of getting pregnant, but please avoid strenuous exercises. Now let's talk about some natural home remedies that will help you deal with irregular periods and menstrual cramps. 1. Ginger Ginger is effective in regulating menstrual flow and also in relieving cramps. You can consume it in the form of juice. Just boil one tablespoon of ginger and mix it with sugar and water. Drink this mixture three times a day after every meal. Carrots One of the simplest and effective ways to get rid of irregular periods is to include carrots in your diet. You can take it in the form of salad, juice or soup. 3. Cinnamon Cinnamon is a spice that gives a warming effect to your body and helps in regularizing periods and balancing hormones. It also helps relieve menstrual pain or cramps. You can include cinnamon powder in any of your food recipes. 4. Apple Cider Vinegar It effectively regularizes your menstrual cycle. Mix 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and drink every day before your meals. 5. Turmeric it is a good warming agent and it has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties that help in relieving irregular periods. Mix turmeric in lukewarm milk and consume it every night. 6. Papaya Green papaya should be consumed regularly for a few months to ensure you get regular periods each month. Eating unripe papaya helps in contracting the muscle fibers in the uterus. That's regulating the menstrual flow. However, do not take it during periods. 7. Buttermilk. It helps in hormone secretion, hence regulating irregular menstrual cycles. It is also a rich source of vitamin B complex, proteins, calcium and potassium. 8. Fennel seeds. Fennel seeds contain a compound called emenagog, which helps in boosting menstruation. It also regulates menstrual cycles and relieves cramps as with its antispasmodic properties. Mix 2 teaspoons of fennel seeds in a glass of water and keep it overnight. In the morning, strain the water and drink it. You can also drink fennel tea. 9. 
Palsy Juice Palsy juice is considered to be extremely effective in improving menstrual cycles. Crush some palsy, pour it into a blender and add some water and blend it. Drink the mixture. 10. Cumin Aside helping in improving the menstrual cycle, cumin is loaded with other health benefits. It improves digestion, helps in preventing colon cancer and promotes weight loss. Soak two spoons of cumin in water and keep it overnight. Drink it the next morning. Repeat this every day. 11. Sesame seeds. They are heat producing and they help in regulating period flow. You can have sesame seeds two times a day with hot water or you can choose to fry them and consume two to three times a day. Please note, if your insulin and blood sugar levels are disturbed, you can have irregular periods as well. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on your post notification and bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a new video. Share this video to educate others also. See you in our next video. Bye for now.